All right, so in this one, I want to go over two things. Well, maybe two things. If this discussion goes long enough, then it'll just be this, and the next video will be what I originally planned to record. But they did put this in the news. If you don't see it, actions to be taken against improper purchases. If you don't know what this is about, there is... I'll summarize it simply and effectively. There is a convenience store in Mexico, primarily. I think it's only in Mexico called oxo oxo trucon or something and from that convenience store there is an app and or in the store itself you can go buy a card let's say like a gift card type of thing and you can link that to your google account and do this setting when you're going to pay and you click out of the app beforehand because there is a delay between the application that you download to pay with that is from OXO into when you were buying crystals. Meaning, you will not get charged on whatever fraudulent thing or the $20 gift card thing you're using or the application that has like 10 bucks on it. You will get the crystals before it can charge you because the delay is so big. PayPal has the same thing, but it's just a smaller delay to where you can't gimmick it and do this buying unlimited crystals thing. So. As we can read here, thank you for your continued support of Dragon Ball Legends. We have confirmed that when using Pay Later as a payment option in the Google Play Store, so it's only Android users that could do this, there are cases in which items have been obtained without payment. In order to combat these improper purchases, we have adjusted the system such that items purchased with the Pay Later option will only become obtainable after a transaction has been completed. So, prior to this, you could have the Pay Later option clicked, and it would charge you up to three days later. I think it says it down here, but yeah. If the following condition is met, an error message containing blah 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 will be displayed when navigating to the shop screen. When selecting Pay Later as a payment option, while a Pay Later transaction has not been completed, regular gameplay will still be possible. Once the payment from a Pay Later transaction has been confirmed, the error message will disappear and the purchased items will become available. We have also identified the following issues at this point in time. After selecting pay later, if payment has not yet been completed, if the payment was canceled before completion, in either of the above cases, the item in question becomes unpurchasable until using the pay later payment option for up to three days. So, if you try to cancel your purchase and then you try to gimmick it, basically, if you try to gimmick it now, you will not be able to buy up to three days later, for up to three days later, unless you get your purchase completed. When attempting to purchase, the same items that have been that have not yet been paid for with the pay later option using a different method such as a credit card or a google play card a message reading purchase has failed will display and you'll be returned to the title screen however even if you see this message the purchase has still been processed correctly if you return to the shop screen and tap the same item a message saying that you already own this item will be displayed but once you close that message you will receive the items you purchase using methods other than pay later so once you pay you get it kind of how it should work if you have a pending purchase using the pay later feature, please do not reattempt to purchase that product as doing so may result in duplicate purchases. We plan to resolve this issue in a future update. We understand this is a large inconvenience to players who may use the pay later feature, but this is a necessary measure to prevent further instances of the issue. Please accept our sincerest apologies and we thank you for your kind patience and understanding regarding the measures taken against this problem. Further actions to be taken. Please note that we will be continuing our investigation into users who have acquired items from the shop via improper means and will take action against them, which may include restricting, restricting further use of the app. So you're getting banned if you use OXO. We will continue working hard to ensure that our players can enjoy a smooth gameplay experience and we kindly ask for your understanding on this issue. So, what is happening? OXO users are being banned. Um, if you use OXO before you are getting banned i can even go here uh nasdarachi tweeted some things if you don't know who he is uh he used to upload legends now he just streams on like five nine but yeah even some people right here this guy got banned as you can notice the currency is well that's pesos that's mexican currency uh mexican player got banned most likely 
used to cheat. He lost all his 14-star units. I wonder how he got 14-star units, you know? So, yeah. Oxo is banned. People are getting banned. Um, thankfully, they honestly deserve it. If you did do Oxo and you think, oh, this is not justified, blah, 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 you're an idiot. Um, I'm glad you're banned. If you haven't been banned yet, oh, you will be banned. Trust me, they do not mess around with purchases. If you even make a refund on some of your purchases and it's like like you scam them on it. Let's say you bought 15k CC and you refund about a hundred dollars. So you refunded like six to eight K CC. Oh, they'll they'll ban you for that because if you already use those crystals, nah, you you're it's the same exact concept. You're cheating them out of their money. And this is a gotcha game. This game is literally made and meant to be you spend money, you summon for unit, you get new shiny thing or new shiny Zenkai, and then rinse and repeat. So if you mess with their money, they're going to get you. And I'm glad they're getting these people quickly. Funny, you know, it is how it is, but it seems like anything that's purchasable and monetary, they will obviously be looking into a lot quicker than, let's say, uh, you not having a... Like, you can't run equipments on some units to go into PvP matches for those people that had that glitch. It's just funny that that's, like, a concept that happens. Even though equipments technically are money because you use CC to reroll them if you really are desperate. But I digress. I'm glad these people are getting banned. Um, the topic that was supposed to be following this up, but I understand now that it'll just be a really, really dragged out video and long video, was... Uh, the top five most underrated units, if anything, that will be tomorrow's 7 p.m. video. Uh, I'm going to just give you guys a hint. Bergamo's on that list. And yeah, units that are a little bit older are on that list. Underrated, by the way. So it's not like Goku Black, you know, is nuts. Not like Topo, you know, is nuts. Underrated units that you will never hear discussion about. But if you use them in play, you will see their value just skyrockets incredibly in every single scenario you ever put them in but yeah that'll be tomorrow's video it's supposed to be part of today's but this ban stuff came out just now actually i think it came out like an hour ago so yeah let me know what you guys think are you happy these people are getting banned are you like oh no this sucks obviously i feel like the majority of people want them to be banned but if you don't let me know why i'm curious and ultra goku that showcase is coming very soon he's you can see it right here, by the way. Uh, basically almost done. I just need maybe like a couple days more of that new event that's dropped. And then let's fight and all this crap. But that showcase will be coming soon with him at... What star is he at? 11 star right here. And then 14 star next PvP season. I am excited. But I'll see you guys in the next one. And to add my opinion on it, because I guess I didn't really say what I feel like uh, is how I feel. I said just like, oh, good, they're getting banned, great. But um, I just feel like if you are going to do it... Okay, listen. Let's say you were going to run co-op and you didn't want to bring your newfound OXO 14-star LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but you brought your normal non-OXO Zenkai 7 or Zenkai 2, whatever, 10-star Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And that's the only way you use them. You just had them, like, maybe as a bench or something. Honestly, I wouldn't mind. A bench in co-op, mind you. Let's say you use them in Terminator Power, I would mind. Let's say you use them in PvP, I would definitely mind. Even in co-op, I would mind if you use them, because I'd be like, that's some... Sh like, it's bullshit. Like, I wouldn't be upset. Obviously, I'd be like, oh, shit, like, nice. I actually have, like, a good ally for co-op for once, because this shit's impossible. By the way, co-op, holy fuck, it's impossible. Good luck if you don't have Zenkai 7, Vegeta, and or Super Saiyan 4 Goku, at least three stars. Uh, but my point being, if you don't see them in use, I understand why people might be a little a bit upset. Let's say people just did this because they want to have a pretty looking account. They saw Goresh's account, they were like, oh shit, I like all those 14 stars. I see a method to get all those 14 stars for me. Well, even just having them in your box is obviously illegitimate. But I understand a little bit, just a baby tiny sliver bit of the argument to be made. Oh, they should not have been banned if they did not use these characters. Now, 
Is that a true argument? No. Is that even something you should be uh, defending? No. It's still cheating. It's still gimmicking a system that is designed to make you spend. I understand people don't like having to spend on a game. People want everything for free in life and in this game. And in any gotcha game, honestly. So, my take is, if you didn't do anything with it, if you only just kept it there and you did nothing, literally zero with it, you just had it there just to look shiny and pretty and to feel better about yourself, eh, I would say they should give you negative CC. But if you used it in any sort of manner, PvE, PvP, any sort of situation in the entire game, I would say you deserve to be banned. Even if they went on a team and you didn't even use that team. If they just sat in your character list, I'd say make you get negative crystals for the amount you spent. So let's say you did 300k OXO CC, which fake CC basically because you're cheating them out of their money. You have a negative 300k balance. But if you use them, you get banned. 100%. That's my take. That's how I feel. Now, let me know what you guys think. Now, I'll see you guys in the next one.